Hey guys, it's Alice, and today's video is going to be my March favourites. March has just been such an amazing month for me because I got to go back and visit three of my best friends from where I used to live, and then the week after was my birthday, and then tomorrow my best friend in the entire world, Emily, is coming down to visit me, and I am so excited. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her since Christmas, and I'm so, oh, I miss her so much. So yeah, this is just my favourites of the month, and I'm just going to get straight on into it. Okay, so the first one, if you haven't noticed, I am wearing a hat. I don't really wear hats. I've never been a hat person, but I got this from the JD Sport website. It's just a black Nike cap with a little silver swoosh on it. I don't know why, I've just really enjoyed wearing this. Okay. Um, my next favourite is a perfume and as you guys will know I like to change up my perfumes every month because I've got quite a few and I need to get my use out of them. So my favourite for this month has been one from River Island called Paris. I don't know how I describe it. It's a lot more mature smelling than all my Hollister ones. All my Hollister ones are quite floral and fruity and summery. Beautiful. Hello! And my next beauty favourite is a mascara and I ran out of mascara recently so I had to go and get a new one and I wanted to get one that was cruelty free so I got this from Gosh and I've never owned anything from Gosh this is the Rebel Eyes Long Wear Volume Mascara with Sea Buckthorn Hmm. and the wand is just slightly curved yeah, rubber what I really love about this is there was, well I was using this as I normally do, like I curl my eyelashes and then put it on and then I used it one day when I didn't curl my eyelashes and it looked exactly the same. It's just made my life so much easier because I don't need to sit there for ages clamping my eyelashes because this literally does it for me and it's absolutely brilliant. I've been wearing it every single day and I love it. <laughs> my next beauty favourite will come as no surprise to all of you who watched my last video, the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. So my friend has got me this. It smells so nice. I've been loving this. I've been using this every single day. I don't remember a day where I haven't used it this month since I got it. My favourites have been putting Salted Caramel as a transition shade, Marzipan on the lid and milk and milk chocolate um, in my crease. I'm trying to venture out. I haven't really used these ones yet. This highlighter is the best highlighter in the world for inner corner. It's absolutely brilliant. I shouldn't have done that because now I've got to wipe it off. I've absolutely been loving this. I'm so grateful for my friends who got this for me because it's been amazing. I love it so much. Oh! And then I kind of got this about a week ago. So I don't know if I can count it as a beauty favourite, but I'm going to count it anyway. I got a new blending brush. I got the Sigma. E25. It's big and fluffy, well not big, and it's like flat on one side and then like thin on the other. It's not round all the way round. And yeah, I've just been loving this. This has made doing my crease colour so much easier and yeah, I love it so much. I think that's all for beauty favourites. So on to my next one, which is my book favourite of the month. And I'm quite angry with myself because I've only read two books this month and normally I read about four or five, like a book a week, and I'm really annoyed at myself. But I'm currently reading another book and hopefully I'll finish that by the end of the month so my favourite book this month has been Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and this is book one of the Infernal Devices trilogy it's absolutely brilliant I love it so much for those of you who don't know Cassandra Clare has written the Mortal Instruments series and this is kind of like a prequel to it set in the 1800s of England. It focuses on the main character Tessa Gray. Obviously this is the first book so you meet her. It's really interesting reading this compared to the other Shadowhunter books because these times are so different the characters act differently so even like calling someone by their first name is seen as really not intimate but like, you need to know that person really well to do that and just little things like that reiterates how different the time period was. When she arrives here and she meets the Shadowhunters I mean there's a lot before that but I don't want to spoil that for you. She's so shocked when she sees a woman fighting in trousers because they didn't do that like you just wore skirts so I love this book it was absolutely brilliant I think I rated it four out of five stars because it's an amazing book but I didn't immediately want to pick up the second one I waited like a week to pick up the second one because I was really busy but yeah this is an absolutely brilliant book and I really recommend it to anybody who loves Cassandra Clare's books or who just likes YA because her writing is amazing and then related to this is a TV show. So I have been watching for the past couple of months a TV show on Netflix called Shadowhunters, which is based off of Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instruments book. And I do have quite a few issues with the show because 
it's not like the books and some of the characters are portrayed differently but I do still love the show and I will still be watching it every single week. It comes out in England every Wednesday. My favourite characters by far are Simon and Alec. Simon is played by Alberto Rosendi, Alec is played by Matthew Daddario and Matthew Daddario is my favourite favourite person. I am a text. No I don't, it's Twitter notifications and it's not even for me. I think they really in this TV show are focusing quite a lot on Alec whereas they don't really bring him in into the books properly. He's not a main character really until about like the fifth book but he's such a prominent character in the TV show and I absolutely love him. I think he's brilliant. I'm so excited for the episode this Wednesday that is titled Malik which is the ship between Alec and Magnus and I'm so excited for it. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. What? Yeah and then my next favourite is one of the notebooks that my friend gave me, Abby. This is the Like a Boss notebook and it's more what I've been doing it. And I've actually been doing a gratitude list for two weeks now. And all I do is write the date at the top of the page and then three points that I feel really grateful for today. So it can be like being really happy that day or a friend being really nice to me or having an opportunity that I'm, I'm really grateful for. So yeah, this has been really helping me look at the positive side of things and also when I've had a really bad day, when I look back at it the next week, the negative things are lower down on, in my mind than the positive things I've written down, which is really good and I've really enjoyed doing that. Also, another favourite is, guess who got a job? Me. I love how I kind of got a job like a month before exams. but. I am really grateful for it and also the people there are so lovely to me. And I think it's just boosted my confidence a lot and it gets me up on the weekends. I think that is pretty much all for my favourites. I will see you guys next week and I hope you've had an amazing day. Bye!